This is Gary Atensu with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. I'm here with Marquez Griffin. Since 2019, he has been serving you in residential real estate, from the fields to the foothills, adding value to help you succeed. I'm joined by Marquez, thanks for joining us, or Kez as your friends call you, right? Yep. Let's start off a little bit about yourself. Uh, you've been a resident of Colorado since 2008. Um, you are an Iowa native and you've been visiting Colorado really your entire life. Spending parts of your life on your grandparents' farm, uh, you fostered a hard work ethic at a young age. After high school, you spent years as a sheet metal worker. Um, share with us how you found real estate and became your passion. Yeah, so as you mentioned, I was in uh, sheet metal. About four years in, uh, Kind of realized that uh, you know doing construction every single day is pretty rough on the body. So I uh, started exploring different options, seeing what's out there, and uh, through a podcast, actually stumbled across real estate and notary work. Excellent. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, real estate is the future. It's the future. The present. It really doesn't change. As someone who has lived in this area of Colorado over, we're talking about a dozen years. What do you feel attracts home buyers to the state of Colorado and specifically this area of Denver? So I think obviously people come here for the mountains, the skiing, uh, but also the, the city is just full of so many places to go eat, go shopping. Uh, there's so much beautiful uh, trails that you know, people can go to and just the housing itself. Uh, there's a lot of good home builders here. Would you say that real estate, home ownership, um, it still remains the American dream and why? Absolutely. And uh, I think it's because and you, I mean, whenever you have your own house, you're building equity, uh, you get to decide, you know, how the house is, uh, you know, put together. Uh, but also, it's actually very possible for people to uh, still get a home despite prices and other things with something called house hacking. Are you, are you familiar with house hacking? Uh, yes, and that's definitely something I want to talk about uh, in just a moment for our viewers. I mean, the market this year, it started out really as a seller's market. It was pretty heavy. Um, are we seeing some changes right now? And is that is that good for buyers, basically, as the selling kind of cooled down a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, right now with buyers, it's a lot easier for you to, uh, you know, maybe get a place under asking. You can, you know, get some, maybe some of your closing costs covered, um, you know, and it's, it's, I think it's a really good time to buy overall. That is excellent. Um, as sellers out there may be tempted to sell on their own, maybe put an FSBO sign out on their lawn. Why is it more important than ever um, really to go with a professional? Well, you know, as a for sale by owner, uh, you may not be familiar with all the market conditions, uh, all the contracts, the legal uh, aspects of it and you actually may end up just be leaving money on the table uh, rather than having a professional who knows the market knows the contracts uh, to get you the best deal that is excellent as we now see interest rates rising can that still be balanced out I mean because sellers are now not selling over market and so even though the rates are higher is it kind of still buying kind of balancing out a little bit and it is still a good time to buy it's still a good time to buy, absolutely. Uh, and because, you know, historically we're still pretty low on, uh, you know, the amount of inventory that we have. Uh, and also with interest rates, yeah, they've gone up higher, but again, you can kind of offset that cost with lower house prices, plus getting the seller to, you know, maybe cover some of your closing costs. Yeah, that's nice. For buyers, I mean, it's an exciting time, but it can be frustrating. It can be overwhelming. Are you able to help new buyers as they navigate through the process? Oh, absolutely. I work with a lot of uh, first time home buyers. Uh, there's lots of programs out there for them to, uh, you know, get their, you know, just see what's out there, see if they can get approved and just uh, actually get that American dream of getting a house. Yeah, and like you say, having a professional in their corner where you can hold their hand, it's got to be great for them. As a professional realtor, how important is communication with your clients um, throughout that process? Do you enjoy getting to know them? And I imagine not one size fits all. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely getting to know or getting to meet my clients. I really enjoy um, getting to meet my clients. And it's just a full round fun experience from start to beginning. We get to know each other you know, go through, uh, view properties and, you know, make sure that you get a good deal. I mean, you are a big advocate of self-improvement. 
Um, do you continually strive to learn more about real estate and the market so you can serve your clients better? Yes, absolutely. I actually just recently became an accredited buyer representative and a seller representative specialist. So uh, those are uh, you know, additional accreditations for me to better serve the people I'm working with. Um, oh, and I'm always learning you know, from going to uh, seminars to I'm actually being mentored. So I'm continually trying to see what's out there and find ways to improve my service for my clients. That is excellent. And we have a, a, a low amount of inventory, but yet have an abundance of realtors to choose from. Why is it important for consumers to do their due diligence and uh, when they're truly choosing a realtor? What, what would you tell them to look for? So I would tell them to look for someone who's gonna be with you every step of the way, who actually is an accredited realtor. So being an accredited realtor, I actually have done additional classes and teachings to get more knowledge to better serve my clients. Uh, you also want a strong negotiator, you know, someone that's going to help you negotiate the best price, terms, dates, inclusions, exclusions, and contingencies. And, you know, you also want to just make sure uh, that they have your best interests in mind. And, you know, uh, there's a difference between just a real estate agent and a realtor. Interesting. So uh, the requirements to be a realtor, um, you don't have to be a realtor in Colorado, I would assume. That's kind of like a, a different step. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. We have to abide by a higher code of ethics than a regular real estate agent. I didn't know that. It's great. Um, as we've seen, houses on the market seem to sell um, sometimes over the asking price in the past few months. Um, many have turned to new builds. Is that an area you can help with it as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, my first house I ever bought was actually a, a new build. Um, so I'm very familiar with new builds. I've helped several other clients from Commerce City to uh, Elizabeth, Colorado. I've helped new build customers, you know, yep. everywhere in between there. I mean, there are many benefits of owning real estate. Nowadays, you don't even have to own multiple homes to generate income from your investment. I mean, we're now seeing more people renting out parts of their existing homes. Um, they're known as um, house hacking, home hacking. Tell me a little bit about that. Share that with our viewers. Yeah, absolutely. So house hacking basically is where you buy a uh, personal residence okay. with the intention of renting out space or rooms uh, to offset the cost. So that's something I've done for three out of the four homes that I've owned. Um, and you really just get to enjoy the benefits of of owning a home while also not paying as much every month. So yeah, you can, an income already coming in. And so basically, and not just an equity situation, but money in the bank right now, which definitely helps. You were awarded the top CO agent by units recently. Um, you basically balance spending time with family and friends, volunteering and supporting small businesses and your community. I mean, really, it was your dream to live in Colorado. Um, does this continue to still be rewarding for you? Oh, absolutely. I love what I do every day. I get to get up, meet new people, show houses, uh, you know, negotiate and get the best deal for my clients. That is excellent. Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is the website. On the website, you can learn more about this particular agent who has been serving you and uh, basically check out what's hitting the market out there. If you're not sure, you see interest rates changing, you're not sure, definitely go with a professional. Somebody who is not only a real estate agent, but we're talking about a realtor, an accredited realtor who can help you navigate whether you're buying or selling here in Colorado. That is Marquez Griffin, a radius agent, serving you in residential real estate from fields to foothills, adding value to help you succeed. This is Gary Atenso with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.